Welcome to Live with the Leadership Team. We are kicking off hashtag we give thanks for the month of November. And all this month, we are going to focus on telling others that you are thankful for them and why and how that is living a happy, healthy life. And let's gather together and give thanks. All right, guys. So at this time, we just need you to find a dry erase board, a, a eraser, and a marker. And if you don't have that, you can just find any old writing utensil and something to write on. And your teacher is going to give you some instructions, and we'll be back in just a little bit with some more information. Whitesville. This morning, we want to kick it off by sharing some things that we're thankful for as your leadership team, and we want you to be thinking of things that you're thankful for. So, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Cole. He's going to share something that he is thankful for today. Hey guys, Mr. Cole here. Um, it just so happens that today's the 11th. Anybody know what that is? November 11th? Anybody? November 11th is, you're right, Veterans Day. And something that I'm really thankful for is Veterans Day. And I'm gonna tell you why. Our veterans, um, they really give of themselves when they sign up to do what they do. And their job is actually to make sure that everybody in our country is safe and happy. Kind of like what we do here at Whitesville. And so I think about people like my grandfathers that fought um, in wars. And I think about people that are fighting today and I think about how much they give, and I just give thanks that they are there to protect us and keep us safe. And we're very thankful for our veterans in the United States of America today. Hello, friends. I am thankful for my family, for their unconditional love, and I'm thankful for all the adventures that we get to go on, whether it's watching a movie at home and sharing laughs and popcorn to visiting places that we've never been. Enjoy the little things in life, for someday you will realize they were the big things. All right, boys and girls, when I think of one of the things that I am most thankful for, I always think about my school family. That includes all of my coworkers, your teachers, and our staff members here in the lunchroom, our custodians, all the people that work here to do great things for you. But it also includes my school family, meaning all of you. I think about all of the memories that we've made together and all the ways that we get to smile and have fun together every single day. Boys and girls, this is our work family. And when I think about school family, you can see this is right here at the top, but then there's a couple words. The first one that comes to mind is supportive. Like the, our school family is so supportive of us, no matter when we make mistakes, or we have big celebrations, our school family is always there to support. There's another one that really stands out and it's this one down here. And I feel like our school family is really powerful together. There's a couple things that come to mind. This one's really funny. It's a great memory that our school family made together. But then there's little moments like this that I always love to remember when I think about school family and think about things that we're thankful for. It's just little things like elbow bumps and high fives and big smiles, even though they're under masks that we love. So it's definitely my school family that I think of when I think about things that I'm thankful for. All right, leaders, it's your turn. We've shared some of the things that we're most thankful for. So we wanna hear from you. We're gonna give you a few minutes to pause and process. You're gonna write what you are most thankful for on your dry erase board. And when your teacher comes back, she's gonna be looking for those items. So you, she'll ask you to put it in the chat or she'll ask you to ready, set, show and show it on your camera. friends make sure on the month of November is self-management and your power buttons on on your remote 
And remember, even if you're at home or if you're at school, pressing the pause button and being present. Push pause and be present. That means that you're being an active listener, exercising and doing, seek first to understand, then to be understood. And by being an active listener, you need to listen with your eyes and your ears and your heart and even your mouth. You can listen with your mouth by keeping it closed. 30 seconds of active, engaged listening to whoever is speaking to you is better than 30 minutes of unengaged listening. And unengaged listening is whenever you are talking everywhere or you're looking at your phone or playing a video game. So put those away. I challenge you and your family during your Thanksgiving celebrations to be mindful and put those phones away unless you have it out taking pictures and capturing those memories. Put the phones away and push pause and be present with your family during this time. Now, Mr. Cole, what else do you have to say about pushing our pause button? Well, I just so happen to have a pause button right here and I'm glad I do because this, got, boys and girls, this isn't just for you. I want you to realize that we all need to push our pause buttons, okay? We don't always have a real pause button located right here on our forehead to touch, but we kind of pretend that we do. And even as adults, there's times where we have to stop, think, and choose. And when we don't do this, I guarantee you, even as adults, we tend to make some bad decisions. The road to making a good decision starts with this right here. Stop, think, and choose. When you push your pause button, you're able to get yourself under control. You're able to really think about what's going on and you're, you're able to also, as Ms. Clark said, use habit five to seek first to understand, then to be understood, listen before you speak, and always think about that. And when you hit that pause button, it makes it so much easier to have a clear head and think about the decision that you're gonna make. And I guarantee you when you do, it's gonna be a much better decision. So think about using that pause button. Hey guys, uh, speaking of being thankful, we never really thought about this before, but dojos are actually thankful because dojos are our way to show you that we're thankful for your behavior. And showing, talking about that, um, to starting today, what we're gonna do is everybody, and some, some kids in certain grades may have these already, but everybody's gonna have these after today in your cubby. And what these are gonna be is that um, it could be your teacher, any staff member, bus driver, one of the leadership team members might give you a sticker. And that, that sticker is gonna go on your dojo tracker inside your cubby. And then later on, you're gonna talk to your teacher about why you got that dojo. And then when you have that discussion, she, she's going to give you a dojo on her phone. And so we're really excited about these because they do show that we are thankful for your behavior. All right, Whitesville, so we're ready to put you to the test. Are you ready for the We Give Thanks Challenge? Starting Tuesday and Thursday of next week, you're going to get to show your thankfulness, and we're going to be looking for all the things that Ms. Clark and Mr. Cole talked about. We're looking for that active listening, listening with your eyes, your ears, and your heart, and we're looking for that pause button behavior showing that you are really being mindful of your actions with your friends. We can't wait to see. We've got a lot of things in store with that lunch. Our lunch staff is going to cook the most delicious Thanksgiving dinner that you have ever had. But boys and girls, this is going to be a Thanksgiving meal like no other. We've got decoration. Oh, and I can't reveal all the surprises. But guess what? It's going to be a candle lit lunch. I'm so excited and I can't wait. Make sure that you're showing that we give thanks behavior because we're going to be looking for it a whole lot for the rest of this month. All right, before we go, we want you to practice. We're going to give you a few videos to show behaviors and we want you to try to see if you can pick out we give thanks behaviors. So we've got a few things from Ms. Clark, Mr. Cole and I that shows regular interactions, but we want you to turn them into mindful interactions showing that you give thanks. So I can't wait to see how you do. Hey, Mr. Cole, um, I went to my grandma's this weekend. What'd you do? Hey, Mr. Cole. Miss Cole, hey, what did you do this weekend? I went to my grandma's. Did you do anything fun? Hey, Mr. Cole, 
Did you, hey, did you Pause. do anything fun this weekend? Pause and process. Do you think Mr. Cole is being the active listener? Discuss with your friends. Friends, did you talk about active listening? How Mr. Cole, was he listening with his eyes? Was he looking at Dr. Murphy? What about his hands? Were his hands doing anything to be an active listener towards her? Boys and girls, let's see if Mr. Cole can be an active listener. Unpause. Hey, Mr. Cole, I went to my grandma's this weekend. What did you do this weekend? Oh, me and my dad went hunting this weekend. That sounds like fun. Did you catch yep. anything big? No, we didn't. We seen a bunch though. But thanks oh, for asking. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I wonder what Miss Clark did this weekend. Miss Clark, what did you do this weekend? I went to a birthday party. Oh, that's Oh, cool. fun. That sounds like fun. kickball further than me. No, you're not. Oh, yeah? You want to bet? No. I, I don't have you. to bet because I know. I bet you. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to pause right now. Boys and girls, what is going on? Miss Clark and Mr. Cole are arguing with one another. I want to talk to you for just a second. What do you think is missing right now? I want you to pause and process because right now we need to think about how we can support Mr. Cole and Ms. Clark to turn this behavior around. Remember, we're looking for ways to be thankful at lunch. So what behavior do you think that they need to change right now? All right, boys and girls, so I know you've come up with all sorts of great ideas because they have a lot of things that they need to change about their behavior right now, don't they? So let's see how they do. All right, Mr. Cole and Miss Clark, play. Hey, today, you wanna play kickball with me outside? Sure. You wanna be on my team? Sure, that sounds great. All right, we'll take turns rowing. That sounds great. Oh, cool. oh, I love that. Did you hear how they talked about win-win situations and then they were sharing with one another? They were also looking at one another in the eyes and instead of upsetting Miss Clark about kickball, Mr. Cole was inviting her to play along. So, great job, Mr. Cole and Miss Clark. I like your we give thanks behavior. Boys and girls, I know you're gonna do a great job with this. We are so excited about the lunch coming up. We cannot wait to see all the great examples. Mr. Cole and Ms. Clark and Ms. Doty and I are gonna be jumping in your classrooms. We're gonna do some dojo drop-ins. We can't wait to see how many dojo points that you can rack up for this We Give Thanks behavior.